Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and options. Hey, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. Uh, this is just transactions that I'm doing in my account and you can watch for educational purposes and learn the processes. Okay, so what I did here on Vista Outdoor, I sold uh, three contracts, option contracts. I sold puts on this and I was just gonna go through um, kind of the transaction real quick. I'm going to show you a, a, a little clip from CNBC that highlighted the earnings on this. There was very positive earnings. This thing jumped in price. I bought the contracts back at a cheaper price. Now actually in the video, I did a quick video of me actually closing this out and then I explained the logic behind you know why I closed it at the percentage I did and kind of went through that um, at the end of the video here. But right now, I just wanted to show you the actual transaction. This was Vista Outdoor. It was something that I found in my screener. I talk about it on prior videos, actually. And I've, I've really loved this um, company and stock. Uh, they were a Zax Rank 1, which, um, you know, is an outperform ranking uh, based on uh, Zax Research. Um, and I just um, looked at it as a super value play and it actually just turned out actually fantastic the way this whole thing played out. So let me show you real quick. And basically Vista Outdoor engages in the design, manufacture and marketing of consumer products in the outdoor sports and recreation markets. It operates through the following segments, shooting sports and outdoor products. So they're also into ammunition, selling ammunition and things like that. So apparently those sales just skyrocketed, um, which really helped their um, overall numbers. You know, their market cap's only about 2.7 billion. Uh, price to earnings ratio is about eight. And so very reasonably uh, valued. So we go down here, you can see the article, Vista Outdoor Stock Surges on big earnings beat with ammunition driving 49% jump in shooting sporting sales. And then analyst ratings were at 100%, 10 ratings, all buys. Um, earnings, they just reported. So um, the estimated was $1.78 per share. They actual came out at 241. And you can see the beats, the, you know, pretty much every quarter they have beat on earnings. So that's, you know, really good story there. And then if you look at here, what I did, I basically um, sold a put here November 1st and I collected up front. So when we sell puts, remember, you collect money up front. So my average was $1.15 for three contracts. And then I bought those back at 20 cents. And this was just, um, you know, this was November 4th. So just you know, what, three days later, um, I was able to buy these back. So I collected 345, bought them back at 60 bucks. And that was so quick that I was able to do this. I sold um, a 40 strike price, you can see here, and they were supposed to expire on 1119. So, you know, I was able to do this much quicker. And that's why I like selling, um, my, when I sell puts, um, I like doing a four week um, expiration because I can collect that higher premium up front. And then if the stock price does really shoot up, then, um, you know, you just get that higher amount and then you can just buy them back cheaper and you don't have to hold them the full four weeks uh, like this one. You know, I only held it three days, but, you know, you're collecting that um, higher premium and, you know, you can just get bigger bang for your buck, I think. So anyway, let me go in. I'm going to show you a quick video clip here of um, Vista Outdoor. And I'm going to show you, you know, CNBC basically highlighted them. I'll do a quick 10 to 15 second clip on CNBC. And then I'll go into the actual closing of it. You can actually see what I did in Robinhood. I actually closed it. You can watch it being filled. And then I go through my logic. So make sure you listen to that because... I kind of tell you, you know, my thought process when I close um, puts and, you know, that I'm selling 
and why and kind of how I do it. So anyway, uh, let's get into this. There's another seven in the outdoor product segment that, uh, that are growing um, as well. Yeah, certainly growth across the board to your point. Thanks for joining us today. Stocks up 11%, Chris Metz. So this has now dropped down to about 25 cents. So I'm gonna buy these back. I've got three of them. So I just wanted to show you how to do this. So buy to close, I'm gonna put in three. And I'm gonna go ahead and do 0.25. And we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get this filled. Okay, good. So got it filled. Um, you know, it dropped a little bit lower here just as we spoke. But, um, you know, basically, um, you know, I, I pretty much sold three puts and the strike price was at 40 here. It was a $40 um, strike. And these were supposed to expire, uh, these contracts, on 11-19. So basically, um, this morning... Um, VSTO basically um, announced that they had, you know, pretty much record earnings, um, really great quarter. I was looking at this from a value perspective because the PE was around seven on this. And so anyway, I decided to sell puts and I held them, you know, uh, throughout the earnings. I figured they were going to have a good earnings report. They were a Zach's rank one stock. Um, so I do always take that in consideration. Usually those do pretty well. Um, so anyway, it was a, a really good trade for me. I just thought I'd show you basically how easy it is uh, when you sell puts, how easy it is to close it. And since these were up 70 something percent, like 78 percent, I just wanted to go ahead and just take the profit because to wait for the other 22 and maybe have it fall back. I didn't want to take the chance. So that was the decision making around these uh, three contracts that I sold. Um, it was about $12,000 in collateral um, at $40 a piece. One contract is 100 shares. So you figure 4,000 collateral a piece. Um, but you know, $1.15 uh, is what I received credit times three. So about 345 bucks. I just bought them back at 25 cents. So I bought them back for 75 bucks. So not a bad, um, not a bad trade. And I just wanted to show this as an example of you know how to close um, these options after you sell puts, how to actually close them out. So that's it on this video, guys. I just wanted to do this real quick for anybody that's uh, learning and that sold puts and may have not ever closed them or made the decision. I never run these until expiration. I don't generally, I usually always close um, most options that, um, you know, whether I'm selling or buying, I, I normally don't let them, you know, go to expiration. So on these, you know, percentage wise, I always usually generally, if it's over 50%, um, I usually will close them out for a profit. Uh, these just happened to uh, skyrocket this morning and it went up to 78% uh, profit. So just decided, I got lucky and decided to close them out. Wanted to use this as an example for a video for you guys. So if you like this video and you like these kind of videos, make sure you smash that like button and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're doing this kind of stuff all the time and uh, make sure to watch all of our videos.